Okay, yeah. Everybody just seems to be in stone skin. So I'd like to transform, but we know we're not going to do that. So let's do this one to uh, remove the uh, buffs or decrease the, the uh, duration of the buffs. And then we can't really do anything else after that. So we're just going to A1 our way. And I guess Rotos just wants to keep taking turns. Now what we can do is try to buff strip or we can try to hit an A2, but I think we're going to just hit the A3. If the A2 went through, I think we would have been able to sheep somebody, but yeah. So we have to worry about Sigfrind hitting hard and then just swiping the entire team, but we'll see. Okay, so you get the revive in. Swipe, okay, so we're okay there. And we're just gonna hit the A2. Of course, it's enough to make sure hmm i guess we're just gonna have to a1 yeah fuck at least take the sigfrin down and then we can leave fuck all right let's try this one we're gonna start off with our mons and then we'll go in with what if i went in with two two cooldown champions enemy cooldown let's go in with um yeah let's go in with yumiko and warlord and we should go in with torment too to counter arbiter just for funsies we'll see what he does ah huh should i do that more often Okay. Yeah, okay. All right, I brought in two more cooldown. All right, I, I put the Yumiko Warlord combo in again, and we'll see. We'll see how he responds, and we'll see what I can do. I might try to bring in Taurus. I haven't used Taurus in a while, so he might be a good option to bring in. Yeah, let's bring in Taurus. Even if even if that's there, we'll we'll do that. Now we're obviously going to have to get rid of our Mons. Can't let him stay. So, what are we doing here? Tiswana. I don't know who to ban either. If I saw this, I wouldn't know who to ban. Yeah, Yumiko makes sense. Yumiko definitely makes sense. We have to worry about... Well, basically all of them. Wukong's gonna hurt, and Morda Macabre is gonna definitely hurt, especially with all my AoEs. But we'll see. You know, you, you just never know. We might be able to power through this. Maybe we can hit hard enough. Let's see, we have buffs coming up from Car- Why is it taking so long? Bro, pick. You already know you're gonna pick Sun Wukong. Wait, this isn't a bot. I don't think it's a bot. We'll see. Yeah, so we go first and uh, let's, let's just start Smacking down. All right, maybe we, maybe we keep keep him, or maybe we can try to remove Stone Skin because that's a thing. Okay, we so we decrease the buff duration of of uh, more two, so that kind of helped by one turn only though. Now let's hit. Let's just let's just do it. We're just gonna keep powering through. What's UDK going to do? He might put up the shields, but we'll see. He doesn't have his A3, does he? Did I, did I hit the cooldown on him? Or not? Oof. That was nice. All right, so we're going to heal, put the shields up. And who are you going to get rid of? Oh, wow, really? I would have aimed down on Marius, personally. But, okay. We're gonna hit UDK. Hit him again. Hit him where it hurts. And if Marius can take a turn, we might be able to smack Wukong before he can take a turn. Yes. Now it's just about hitting more two. Maybe this is enough. It's enough. Is it enough? 
Is it enough? It might be enough. It's enough, guys. We are enough. All right, we have three supports and two damage dealers. Let's go ahead and we're going to take Yumiko. She's got the lead. Extra accuracy and the blessing that she has. So we'll see. My Yumiko isn't as fast as she used to be, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Stun Hegemon. Still viable. Really? No freezes on anybody. What? That's so cool. Did you see that? The uh, the frost just like covered the ground. That was pretty cool. I like that. All right, let's put their skills on cooldown, except for these two, I guess. Any day now, dude. Come on. Oof. Yeah, no, we're not doing that. I'm assuming these guys are going to be in stone skin. All right, so we just have to worry about Hefrak. But if we aim down on him, we might be able to... What's going on? What's up with the... Hello? Internet? The hell? A weird. We might be able to just smash through him. Alright, so let's boost this and let's just chance it. Nice! Okay. And then we'll hit the A2 on Ancora. Reaction pops off. Oof. All right. All right. I forgot to pick our mons this time around, but we'll see if we can get through it. Let's get rid of Lord Shazar first. And then I guess we could just throw it on auto and figure it out. Yeah. I keep forgetting he's got that turn meter thing. Every time that he gets his turn meter depleted, he counterattacks. Not depleted. I meant to say reduced, not not depleted. He, he, he didn't get his... Um, I guess it would happen the same way, but... Yeah. Alright. Uh, nice. Cool. Oh, because the A1 kind of pushed back the turn meter from the mastery. That makes sense. Oof. Not oof? Oh, because of his passive... Bully's doing it, dude. Pretty nice. Very good. That was a nice, um, nice choice in execution. Taurus, pull through. And you know, we always like to see the, um, chaos dust pop through for us. Okay, stone skin, Shuzen. I have to worry about Shuzen, so let's go ahead and get rid of Shuzen. And then Makage, if she transforms, is gonna get the uh, get the smoke from Marius. Comes back. We're gonna get rid of Shuzen, and we're gonna aim down on the rat. Okay. All right. So we have a relatively interesting one. I think we're gonna go in with Makage on top of this, and we're gonna ban Armands. He has a lockout, I have a lockout, so he has a decision to make. If he doesn't ban Tormund, then we have a pretty decent chance, unless they all happen to be in stone skin again, to uh, get frozen by Tormund. Got rid of Marius, which was like my ace in the hole. He probably doesn't think that Tormund's going to do any damage. Um, Tormund's not my strongest damage dealer, but he is in Savage. Decently built. So uh, he's not like completely useless, so we'll see. However, if he uh, does that, then we're kind of uh, dealing with a little bit of issues. If we can survive Queen Eva, we might be able to survive this match. Doesn't she have a block revive? Yeah, she does. It's going to happen. I'm going to go in with two ally attack champions. It's going to happen. You either ban Armands. Okay, so we, we got it. We're, 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 we're going to be okay here. I got rid of Duchess just because she has a tendency to make the fights last longer because of her damage mitigation, and then she places block buffs. So we'll see. It is likely that they're going to be in stone skin, 
I think I need to rebuild my champions in stone skin. I, I don't know what it is. Everybody's in stone skin. At least one turn of stone skin. So, that's on the list of things to do. Which I don't mind too much, but we'll see. Okay. You're not in stone skin, so you're at risk of getting torment. Do you take the risk? You don't take the risk. Okay. Let's get rid of this mythical champion. Because I can't... I just can't. I can't even with you, bro. I can't even. You either transform and get clapped. Either way, you're taking a turn. That brimstone's going to pop off. And then let's remove the debuffs off of Tormund. It's part of why I like Mikage. Because that A2 does that thing. Do this. And then do a little bit of... Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, you take it. All ditty. Extra P.